हाई गाइस वेलकम टू आर चैनल अगर आप यहाँ पे नए हो तो मैं बता दूँ हर ट्यूसडे 5 पी एम हम एक कॉलेज सक्सेस वीडियो और हर फ्राइडे 5 पी एम एक जे सक्सेस वीडियो रिलीज करते हैं इसके साथ ही बहुत बोनस वीडियोस रिलीज होती हैं जिसकी इन्फॉर्मेशन के साथ साथ बहुत सारी रिसोर्सेज दैट कैन हेल्प यू स्टे कनेक्टेड टू योर गोल्स एट कॉलेज और इन जे एंड बहुत सारा फन एक्टिविटी बिहाइंड द सीन्स फन भी हम अपने व्हाट्सएप चैनल पर शेयर करते हैं जो अभी अभी लॉन्च हुआ है सो बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट यू मेम्बर्स योर आप मेरे को इंस्टाग्राम पे एंड लिंगडन पर भी फॉलो कर सकते हैं अगर आप मेरी पर्सनल एंड प्रोफेशनल फॉलो करना चाह रहे हैं बिना ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट करते हुए आज की वीडियो को जल्दी से चालू करते हैं हेलो जी वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ दास्ताए जे जो कि हमारा फेवरेट पॉडकास्ट है आई आई टी जे के लिए जो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट व्यूड पॉडकास्ट है आई आई टी जे के लिए एंड आई नो यू गाइज आर लविंग इट आई नो यू गाइज आर इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग मोर एंड मोर स्टोरीज एंड ट्रस्ट मी हम बहुत सारे और टॉपर्स के इंटरव्यूज को लाइनअप कर रहे हैं आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू आई आई टी बॉम्बे फॉर माई कॉन्वोकेशन तो हम ऑफलाइन इंटरव्यूज भी लाइनअप कर रहे हैं बट टूडे इज इंटरव्यू इज रादर स्पेशल बिकॉज वी हैव क्वाइट अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी समबडी हु हैज अ वेरी डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड from usual and uh, i personally you know plan to do the podcast for only like uh, 15 20 minutes uh, as usual but the answers that you asked gave in this interview uh, were exemplary and uh, were very uh, actionable advices that you can benefit from uh, so put on your headphones for better audio quality you can put the uh, podcast on 1.5x and uh, sit back relax uh, your podcast uh, full english mein hai because suhas was more comfortable in english but do not worry hum uh, hindi mein भी पॉडकास्ट करते हैं इंग्लिश में हम यूजुअली करते हैं पॉडकास्ट को बट इट्स क्वाइट सिंपल क्वाइट बेसिक सो यू शो डेफिनेटली लिसन टू ऑल दी आंसर्स एंड सिट बैक रिलैक्स लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्ट विद दिस इंटरव्यू लाइक जरूर कर दो सब्सक्राइब कर दो शुरू होने से पहले हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द दास्ता जे सीरीज एंड टुडेस एपिसोड इज विद सुहास सुहास सिक्योर्ड एन ऑल इंडिया रैंक 10 इन द जॉइंट एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन एडवांस 2024 एंड विद दैट इंक्रेडिबल रैंक always comes a great story and that's why we make uh, this series where we bring out to you stories from these students across india and uh, i won't take a lot of your time because i'm no i, I know you guys are eager to uh, hear suhas's story so without uh, wasting any time uh, suhas welcome to the podcast uh, i think you're in iit bombay and uh, your classes yeah. have started how how does it feel after j to step into iit bombay i mean it's a new life well It, nobody forces you to sleep at some time so that's a relief yeah nobody forces you to sleep i i can expect that kind of a change that is like one of the major changes one experiences after j what 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 uh, what time did you usually sleep during j days and was what is it now on the weekdays i used to sleep at around 11 at max 11 okay on sunday it yeah. was like something around 12 or 12 okay and and now now you're not sleeping at all No, that's not the case. But <laughs> yeah, I usually sleep around twelve thirty. Okay, yeah, something around twelve. Okay, great. Yeah, now now there's a lot of things in store for you, Suhas, and you know life is going to become exciting. I'm sure it already has, and there's still like a lot in store for you guys. Or in this podcast, me, आगे बढ़ने से पहले before we get into his uh, answers, let me quickly talk to you about the sponsors of the podcast. Ah, uh, Dastai Jee ke sponsors, Physics Wala, ab uh, apni tayari ko next level pe leke jaane ke liye launch kar rahe hain. Arjuna 3.0, Lakshay 3.0, Prayas 3.0 batches, and 15th August ki offer me heavy भी डिस्काउंट्स पर ये लिमिटेड टाइम के लिए हैं तो मैं आपकी इंफॉर्मेशन बता देता हूं इसकी कि अर्जुना जी थ्री पॉइंट टू लक्ष्य जी थ्री पॉइंट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ये थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड में लॉन्च हो रहा है प्रयास जी थ्री पॉइंट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी सेवन हंड्रेड में अर्जुना जी हिंदी लक्ष्य जी हिंदी एंड प्रयास जी हिंदी ये सब ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड में आपको मिल जाएंगे आपको इनका वन पॉइंट टू एंड टू पॉइंट टू का दोनों अर्जुना एंड लक्ष्य का एक्सेस फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट मिल जाता है जब आप इनके थ्री पॉइंट ओज में करते हो और ये सारे बैचेस क्योंकि अब हिंदी में भी अवेलेबल है सो यू शुड नॉट वेट बिकॉज पीडब्ल्यू के टीचर्स आपको फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स में टॉप नॉच लेवल से पढ़ा के टॉप नॉच फोल पोटेंशियल पे लेके जाते हैं डेली प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम्स विद वीडियो सॉल्यूशंस इन क्विज फॉर्मेट आपको मिलता है पीडीएफ नोट्स पीडब्ल्यू ऐप पे मिल जाते हैं एंड ऑल इंडिया टेस्ट सीरीज टेस्ट प्लानर के अकॉर्डिंग आप इनकी बुक्स जेई बुक्स को भी पीडब्ल्यू स्टोर से खरीद सकते हो एंड बुक्स के लिए भी पीडब्ल्यू स्टोर पर फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट का ऑफर चल रहा है यू कैन चेक इट आउट देर एंड पी डब्ल्यू हैज बेसिकली गॉट यू कवर्ड आपकी तैयारी को इस इंडिपेंडेंस डे पे नेक्स्ट लेवल पे लेके जाने के लिए लिमिटेड टाइम के लिए ऑफर है डिस्क्रिप्शन में सारी डिटेल्स मिल जाएंगी यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज माई कोड ई एस वन फिफ्टी टू गेट एन एडिशनल डिस्काउंट एंड इन बैचेस पे आपको और बेनिफिट मिल सकता है सो जल्दी से जाओ डिस्क्रिप्शन में एंड स्टार्ट करो अपनी प्रेपरेशन को नेक्स्ट लेवल पे लेके जाना 
so has so the idea of the podcast is you know to get your story around uh, to students who are preparing for the joint entrance examinations people look up to you uh, people want to hear uh, who suhas was before he stepped into j why did he step into j how did he you know approach topics what his time tables looked like how how you know he tackled the stresses the downs and the ups of iit j so we're going to uh, approach all of that we usually have like six questions six segments uh, we divide this podcast into and Uh, without further ado i think i can uh, quickly start with the first one and uh, this is the introduction and background segment uh, suhas uh, so basically here we want to know who suhas is you know wow, which city were you born in uh, what kind of a student were you in school uh, how did you you know uh, discover about iit j about iits who motivated you to get into this field so from a person who was born in xyz town to somebody who started preparing for iit j what was that journey like what was your background like uh, i was born in a town in andhra pradesh called kakinada Okay. You might have not heard of it. Yeah. But yeah. Have you heard of it? No, actually, don't. I haven't. Yeah. So I, I mean, I never. I'm not grew. I didn't grow up there. But my father was a railway officer, so he got a lot of transfers. I even stayed in Karnataka for two years. I stayed in Assam for two years. Okay. Till fifth class, that's how it went. In fifth yeah. class, I used. To, I got. I went to normal school. But in the sixth class, my father realized that. whatever the school had to offer yep. it was not enough for me so okay he started home tuition okay the private pr- teachers would come from universities and they would teach us me and my brother okay which class was you in, in which class was your brother in at this point of time at the point of time when we started home tuition or no yeah home tuition okay i was in 6th grade and my brother was in 7th grade he is year, okay. year older than me year older got it so yeah home tuition got started Mm. Both were good at math, physics, chemistry. I mean, we yeah. went right biology, but I mean, my brother didn't go into medical now, so I can't speak for him. But for me, okay. I didn't particularly like medical, the biology and biology stuff. I mean, I didn't even like chemistry that much to say. Okay. But I had to do chemistry for JE, so yeah, I went on. Okay. I tried biology till tenth grade, but I didn't really like it. So that's when I realized I want to do MTC and not the biology thing. Okay. So, so you know, just curious, Suha, so how does that work? If you are taking a hu- home tuition, are you like affiliated to the boards, uh, like CBSC state board, uh, or or is it? Yeah, something I'm registered different? in a school. I just don't go to the school. Okay. Okay. I take the exam okay. from that school. So right from class sixth, you never went to a school, and uh, you took the exams from home. You got a private uh, coaching, a private tuition. I went one day in four years. <laughs> What did you do on that day? My father got kind of angry at me for not doing something at home, so okay. forced us to go to school. <laughs> okay, interesting. The, oh, that that's a very different background, you know. This this might be the first person who I'm interviewing, uh, who's got such a great rank in IITJ, who did not go to school, uh, right from sixth grade, one day in four years. Uh, so so in tenth, you know, uh, did you did you after class tenth get into coaching? Yeah, I got into coaching from eleven. Okay. So, which coaching were you enrolled in? How did you come across that? And and you know, you how how did you directly get involved in a coaching? Uh, was IIT something that was on cards from a very long time, or did somebody motivate you in class tenth? I knew that IIT existed at something around fourth or fifth grade. Okay, yes. oh that's okay, that's pretty that. young. Okay. Yeah. Did you have like But a role no. model? Had did you hear of it in newspapers or somebody you know somebody is in family, or maybe somebody yeah, my father's in an IIT graduate. Oh, your father's an IIT guy. You're wonderful. Which IIT? IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur. Uh, that's interesting. Which which department was he in? He was in civil engineering. Civil engineering. And what about your brother? Did he also get into IITs? No, he's in medical science. He's in medical science. Okay, perfect. Uh, that that's interesting, Suhas. So you know, your father was an IIT, and you knew that. Uh, perhaps you'd get into iit you did not like the medical field so uh iit seemed like the obvious choice so in class 10th you joined a coaching would do you mind sharing yeah. which coaching was this and when which city did you move out of your city uh, home city all right when i was doing my 10th grade i was in assam gohati okay my father got okay. posted there so well i had to join the coaching institute in hyderabad sri chaitanya okay i had to move okay. i was stayed in hostel for 2 3 months and after that my grandparents moved to hyderabad okay 
So, so first two three months you were uh, alone in the hostel, and then your grandparents yeah. shifted to Hyderabad, and yeah. you joined Sri Chaitanya. Understood. Okay, perfect. I think uh, you know we've got quite a bit of a background, and we can uh, wrap up our first segment with that. So, has we now have quite a bit of an idea how you got into this field and how you stepped into coaching. And class tenth is when you say you actually got into coaching. Uh, so. the second segment uh, it's called preparation strategy and usually you know we try to understand what your way of studying uh, for physics chemistry or mathematics is you know let let's say you have a chapter that you are supposed to complete or cover in your syllabus what is your approach to that so uh, while answering that you can you know start talking about how from class 10th did you start covering your iit je syllabus or was class 10th different and then class 11th is when you finally started iit je and 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 to answer the question you know how do you approach these chapters what is your typical study routine like when you get a new chapter to study okay i mean till before 11 i knew i got iitj i was preparing for the i mean i was doing basic maths and physics that's required for iitj okay you know logic is required so till then i was building up the logical skills not right. really going into the details of chemistry and physics but developing the logic okay from 11th when i went to chaitanya usually they teach a chapter for around a week Mm-hmm. I mean, they take up almost everything. You don't need to look into which book you need to study or make notes. I mean, you have to write running notes in class, but that's all. Okay. You don't have to look up for anything extra. Got it. So you just went to yeah. your coaching. Uh, no extra books done. You followed the coaching and you made notes. Yeah, I mean, I did books, but the books were suggested by the teachers. I didn't have to look up which book was best for what. Okay, perfect. We'll get to the resources and study materials in the next segment. But to you know, uh, for clarity, so us, did you join Sri Chetan in tenth or eleventh? No, in eleventh. In eleventh. Okay, but you shifted in tenth or you shifted in eleventh only? I shifted in eleventh. Okay, perfect. So you shifted in eleventh. You started IITJ preparation and your initial preparation strategy when it came to your uh, courses, at least during the first time when you were not doing revision. We'll come to revision phases later, but uh, you followed the coaching. You uh, followed what was being taught. No extra books uh, apart from what they prescribed. And we'll just come to that those books. And uh, you you made notes. I think that's as simple as it gets to us. And it's uh, lovely to hear that because uh, you know a lot of people have certain misconceptions when it comes to toppers like yourself, uh, where they think you know uh, they don't follow coaching because everybody follows coachings, and it's it's not possible to get an all India rank ten with just following the coaching. So that right there, you're busting a myth for us, uh, Suhas. So uh, that wraps up the second segment uh, beautifully. I do have I'll something to say on that though. Sure, sure. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, you can cut it up later if you want. But the thing yeah. is, not every, not every branch of Chaitanya does the same thing. I was okay. in the best branch of Chaitanya. The teachers there knew what had to be done, what okay. needed to be done. But I can't say the same for all the students in all the Chaitanya branches. Got it, got it. So what you're saying is, Sri Chaitanya Hyderabad is like the best Sri Chaitanya, and they know. There's what a lot of campuses campus in Hyderabad. The best campus is in Madhapur. It's named after one. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, I mean, I'm sure people in Hyderabad know what you're talking about, uh, yeah. and that, that's good to hear. I mean, people from Hyderabad would benefit from it. But uh, okay, that's a fair point, actually, Suhas. You know, uh, your coaching was that good enough that you were you were not required to look at other resources. But what you're essentially saying is there might be people from other Sri Chaitanyas or even other coaching institutes because a lot of people will watch this who are not from Sri Chaitanya uh, who might have to look at other resources. uh so let's you know well, that's a beautiful way to get into the next segment which is resources and study materials so you know you can talk about the resources you use the ones that your teachers recommended for other people as well uh let, let's cover it subject by subject and you can talk about your favorite books or even the books you started off with and then went on for during the revision phases that were more advanced uh so let let's start with physics you know what kind of materials did you use apart from your coaching books We never did any coaching books. Like the Sri Chaitanya has some material. There, there's course material for Sri Chaitanya. There's a lot of problems. There are levels of problems. I never even okay. looked at the material. Our teacher okay. used to give problems, but it was okay. not from the material. They used to make the problems or cut the problems from somewhere. Got it. That's interesting to know. Okay. So, so you know, talk about the resources to us. What books were these that they took out the problems from? Because I'm sure as students we try to find out. And maybe you did, maybe you did not. But I'm sure during revision you did look at some resources, or is that not? I mean, no, no resources. Only there's there's not a that... single book in physics that you can name for us. Okay, yeah, use. physics I can name. 
Yeah. The best book for physics is Pathfinder or okay. Edo. You can choose either. Yeah. The problems in Edo are something like there's 200 problems and hmm. every 10 problems follows the same concept. So you just yeah. have to do random problems in Edo. But the yeah. problems in Pathfinder, they're all different models. It's the best book, Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you know, when you say Pathfinder, uh, for most people, a typical J.E. aspirant, he would consider Pathfinder to be something for the Physics Olympiad, the International Physics Olympiad. And the problems are, a lot of problems are out of the J.E. advanced scope. What do you think about that? Do you think it's an essential step to solve that kind of a level of problems to understand the J.E. advanced problems? Does it help in that? Or, you know, were you also preparing for Olympiads and that's why you did the Pathfinder? I mean, I never prepared for Olympiads, but I got into the camp. That's okay. secondary, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's necessary to solve the Pathfinder to get good marks in JE for physics, but okay. I mean, you prepare for something higher than JE, the JE becomes easier for you. True, true. Yeah, you know, the same concept that when you're doing excellently well in JE advanced, J mains is like easier for you. I'm not comparing ranks here, uh, but you, you get the point, what I'm saying. It's yeah. You don't have to put in a lot of effort for J means. Uh, perfect. Uh, okay, so physics, you've named two books for us. Uh, is it, you know, it'll be very surprising if you tell me you've uh, never even opened H.C. Verma? There's some chapters, yeah. like semiconductors and the other yeah. theoretical yeah. parts of physics that I had to study. Okay. But the problems, I never referred H.C. Verma for problems. Okay, any other book that you referred for, you know, just the theory or maybe reading it occasionally? Not that I can think of, no. Okay, okay, fair. Uh, cool, let's jump to chemistry. Uh, if I have to talk about physical chemistry. Chemistry. Let's talk chemistry at the last. Let's go to maths. Okay, let's, I'm let's not go to really maths. fond of chemistry person. Okay, I, I can kind of catch that from your uh, answers in the past as well. But yeah, let's get to maths first then. What books did you follow? I mean, the initial series, I didn't follow any books. There were problems with... Okay, forget about initial series. Till the end of my J preparation, I never touched a single book of maths. Single look. I never even opened a book of maths. Even in revision, all the problems you no. were doing from the coaching? Yeah. My sir used to make sheets of problem sheets and I don't know yeah. where he got those problems from, but okay. yeah, those are the only things that I've done. Okay, that, that's very interesting to know, you know, never referring to any reference book and just following the problems by your sir. Uh, what, what's your sir's names? I mean, you should definitely give a shout out to your sir if he was, you know, that good in mathematics that you didn't have to refer to a single problem and I'm sure you got very good marks and even mathematics to get an all-in-air and then. Yeah, there's two teachers. Okay. And one is ANS sir and the other is Sri sir. Okay, perfect. So, you know, if they're watching this or somebody who's their student, they can get a good confidence boost. Uh, and, and chemistry, you know, give us some names, uh, Suhas, come on. A lot of people will jump to just this segment and uh, try to listen to Suhas's books and uh, study materials. I mean, of course, don't lie, but uh, whatever, honestly, you followed, uh, we, we don't want you to make things up or anything. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll say my opinion on chemistry. From the yeah. 11th, I mean, first the physical chemistry starts. They teach us yeah. atomic structure and all those parts. Mm. I'm pretty good at physical chemistry, extra yeah. other than the class notes. And I mean, I didn't even do much of problems. It was just the previous yeah. advanced questions and the class notes. Okay. Physical chemistry was still, I didn't do much of it. Then okay. comes the inorganic chemistry. Yeah. Our inorganic chemistry sir makes the best notes. I mean, I can say this, the best okay. notes. Okay. His name is PRK, Pandraj Kumar. And I just followed his notes for inorganic chemistry. Sorry, uh, what was the name you took? Was that professor's name or the book's name? No, the, the professor, the teacher's name. Okay, the professor, got it. Uh, and and what about organic chemistry then? Organic. I didn't like organic. I mean, I'm. I don't even like organic chemistry till now. Okay. There's a lot of things in organic. I mean, people say that you have to buy hard things in inorganic chemistry, but you get the flow in inorganic. In organic, you have to buy buy hard all the exceptions, and there's a lot yeah. of stuff you have to buy hard. Yeah. My teacher used to make the notes from. A book called Clayton. Clayton you yeah. heard of it? Yeah, yeah. It's not, I mean, it's university level chemistry, I think, but yeah. Yeah. And there's other book called Peter Sykes. Yeah. I Peter personally Sykes. never referred to this book. Yeah. But yeah, my sir used to make the notes from these two books mostly. Got it. Perfect. Just them. Yeah, no, they are great books. And I think, uh, yeah, I think the professor, the teacher uh, who teaches J.E., a lot of teachers refer to those books, but it's not something that you should ideally, uh, for people watching this, you know, uh, it's not something you should ideally delve as a first resource of yeah. sorts uh, at all. I, mean, uh, I would say if, if your teacher isn't really going into Clayton, don't touch Clayton. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a waste of time. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, it's... 
it's it's something extra perfect uh can you tell us a little bit about your pyq solving as well did you you know uh, practice previous year question papers along with uh, your preparation or at the end i mean something al- around like till 2008 or 2009 i did along with the course as the chapter runs i did the questions Got but it. from 2008 Got to 2000 like the last paper 2023 No, yeah. 2022 i gave the 2023 paper when the paper came out okay okay got it so just um, just curious to know how much did you score did you calculate your marks what what rank were you getting i got rank was something around 1000 i guess 1000 okay but but you know that it was, was in the class mid- 11 yeah yeah it was after just after class 11 that's that's great man you know you still have one year to go uh if you're getting a 1000 rank that just shows how good your preparation is and you know your base of your logical skills and all of that analytical skills how good that is perfect you know uh for somebody who's watching this in class 11 try to you know uh, achieve that level if you're aiming for this level uh, in your final examination that can be your source of uh, motivation Uh, perfect uh, suhas i think you've uh, walked us through the next segment in parts already uh, i'll quickly start the next segment which is uh, your daily routine and time management uh, so typically in suhas's life uh, maybe class 11th and class 12th the answer will be different but what was a typical day in your life like what time did you get up what time did you go to sleep how much hours did you put into each subject i know maybe you you know you were in shri chaitanya and from the people uh, we've had before on this podcast i know shri chaitanya follows a very strict uh, routine of that sorts but uh, i've seen it varies from center to center and also depends on the student so uh, what do you think uh, i mean what was your routine like uh, during your je preparation and how did you manage time between subjects Okay, we'll divide into two parts: before revision and after revision. Got While it. the classes go, like yeah. classes run, I used to go on time. The classes start at six thirty in the morning. Okay. There's some breaks, some lunch breaks, and everything. And yeah. at the night, it ends at around ten thirty. Sometimes it's ten, sometimes it's ten thirty. Wow. So the okay, first no, that's the first. Now I haven't heard about this. Six thirty a.m. to ten thirty p.m. only classes. I mean, you said you have no, breaks. No, not only classes. The study hours and. everything but yeah we stay in the campus you stay in the campus okay but like how how many hours out of that is lectures only yeah four hours for each subject four three is 12 and there's okay. two hours you can do whatever you want in okay. four hours for each subject two hours lectures and two hours study hour okay perfect that makes sense okay so this was pre revision uh and how mm-hmm. did that change once the revision phase started like i said i moved from hostel to day scholar so okay. i mean in the initial stages before revision started i used to go on time but After revision started, I kind of slacked a bit. I used to okay. go to college at seven thirty or even eight whenever okay. I used to feel like it. And yeah, yeah I mean, at night I can work good at night, so I used to come back at ten that only. Okay, okay, but but And you were given like a free time to do whatever revision yeah, you we, want. Yeah, we can do whatever you want. Okay, perfect. I mean, teachers used to come, but even the math teacher used to say you can study chemistry if you want, you can study physics, whatever you feel like you're doing. Okay, and did they keep like a check as to you know where Suhas is right now? How much score is he getting? Did they push you towards you know increasing your performances, or did they actually leave you to yourself? You know, okay. do whatever you want. There's an exam every week. Well, there's two exams okay. every week, so. Okay. Yeah. So that they do come back. Got it. Got it. And and also curious, you know, do they uh you know make you sit down and analyze your marks with them and analyze your mistakes with them, or do you do that on your own? They make us do it. They make them. you do it. got it got it yeah i mean uh, you know i should actually appreciate the way uh, they approach and the kind of attention they give uh, uh, granularly uh, because the individual attention that people get at coaching institutes is one of the major deciding factors and uh, maybe you know because we interview uh, a lot of toppers but i think you can also tell us uh, an average student at a similar coaching institute would he also get that kind of an individual attention or was it specific to your batch or the students who were performing that well even in my campus there were three batches okay the top like they were ordered yeah. the first the students of the first batch get individual like attention and yeah. they get everything yeah i mean second and third batches if you're good at it the teachers that attend your that take your class will give yeah. you individual attention Yeah. but the overall administration and management doesn't really give you any attention got for it. us the management and the teachers both give us attention got it got it no that's yeah, the case exam, across coaches yeah. yeah 
yeah perfect no that's that's very kind of you so has to tell us that uh, uh, frankly about it and i think that's true across all coachings uh, but perfect i think i have now an idea about your daily routine and uh, what what amount of time do you typically sleep a lot of people would want to know that take it from 11 to 6 that's an hours okay 7 hours uh, you did not decrease it near the examination or increase it maybe increase it to 7 and a half that's an and a half Got it. At the end of no, the I think that is a great thing. So, has to uh, consistently sleep for seven hours during your IITJ preparation. That uh, is essential for you to recharge. And the kind of hours that you mentioned about your classes and your time in campus, I think uh, you definitely need that. And a lot of people, uh, you know, put in more than those kind of hours, and they feel that well, why are they not able to take out an output? Uh, why are they not productive? I think sleep is essential, and you vetted that for us. Uh, sleeping 7 hours consistently is a great habit because the other hours that you have in the day uh, utilizing those effectively is what essentially makes the difference perfect uh, we have two very small segments left uh, suhas the next one is all about uh, the uh, not so good parts of iitj uh, we we like to believe and we've seen this across students even in toppers that uh you will have your dark days uh, per se you will have the times when you're not feeling that motivated the stressful days maybe you're not performing in an examination maybe your teacher is not happy with you or there's you know some personal problem that happens during jee days what was uh those stressful days what is the story behind that for you what days do you recall that yeah maybe those weren't like the best days of iit jee uh how did you push yourself to come out of that kind of a stress a uh, uh, stressful environment and how do you motivate yourself during uh, these iitj days well i'd say that friends and family is the most important part of managing stress we give to exams every week i obviously can't manage to be the best at all yeah. those exams so yeah. there were exams here when i got like something yeah. around 90 rank, rank 90 in the camp in the chaitanya itself so yeah those days you yeah. won't my teachers won't be very happy with me i mean they won't say it out loud but they won't really be happy with it right but you see it in their faces and in yeah. the way they react yeah i understand yeah. yeah uh so so those were the kind of moments when you did not feel like uh you you felt like you wanted to do better and your consistent yeah. ranks were higher than that uh so what was what was the strategy then did you talk to your teachers did you talk to your parents friends did that make you uh, come out of it or were you the person you know who went on ki mai to is pe khud mehnat karunga and i will put in those extra hours and i'll uh, make uh, an this, effort on my both own. cases on some times i like yeah on some days i'm like okay i study whenever i feel like it, but now i don't feel like it, so i just spend the whole day talking to friends or yeah playing with them or whatever On some days, were there like, days like this? To... Let, let's let's be honest. I mean, somebody who's got an idea rank ten, were there days when you spent the entire day studying and playing? Uh, sorry, uh, chatting with friends and playing. Yeah, there were days. Wow, uh, was this after your uh, you know main study phase in the revision phase, or even during the main study phase? No, this is in the revision phase. In the main study phase, you can't risk to lag it. If you get yeah. lagged, at least I mean, if you get lagged one day, the yeah. whole, whole syllabus moves. I mean, like i said they cover a whole chapter in a week and you just can't right. miss it yeah right right no so that that you know speaks highly of the kind of dedication you have towards the examinations who has uh because uh, you realize and uh, once you are motivated enough only then does one realize that you cannot lag behind uh because i'm sure even around you you might have seen cases of people lagging and when they skip a an entire day i can only imagine those 4 4 hours per subject if they are missing out on that it must be difficult to get back on track but it speaks highly of uh, you know your dedication towards this examination as well uh perfect suhas so uh my one last question to you and the last segment is uh your candid advice to people listening to you people listening to suhas uh, as a senior who cracked the iitj 2024 and uh, they want to just hear what what is that you know one or two pieces of advice is that uh you have taken back from iitj uh you know these two years teach you a lot you have seen you know improvements in yourself you know you were talking about chemistry uh not liking that so much but of course you scored uh, well on chemistry as well to get an all india rank 10 maybe you can talk about how you did that or any piece of advice basically that you want to give to the future uh, younger aspirants who are listening to you for the chemistry i can say that like i said my teacher used to make notes from clear and which is way above je so mm. I mean, even the exams they conduct in Chaitanya are also way above J. The marks don't really reflect how much you know about chemistry. 
I realized okay. that when the revision started, so I started focusing more on the basics. Like I went through the NCERT at least twenty times before it runs. Okay. Both in the all the four NCERTs. That's great. I mean, twenty uh, times is actually a lot, and uh, I hope you're not exaggerating there. But I can, I, I can yeah. definitely vouch. Yeah. Literally did it twenty times. Yeah. That that's that speaks again uh, highly of how motivated you are, Swas, and it is it is the most essential thing that makes or breaks the situation in IIT J. Uh, so I think that's great advice for chemistry. Uh, anything else? Anything that is more general, or you know, maybe a piece of advice that a teacher once gave you that helps you keep motivated. I mean, my maths I used to say, you got you have the talent to get the top ten rank. I've seen top ten rankers. I know yeah. what's in them. I know what's in you. You can yeah. get it. Don't waste it by being neglect, like neglecting studies or anything. Yeah, I mean, that's a great. Put your, put your hard work in. Perfect. You know that's a great thing for uh, you know because a lot of parents also watch this and uh, I I have come to understand even a, f- a few professors from across the country watch it. I won't name them of course, but uh, you know some of these teachers that you were just naming, uh, one of them also watches the podcast and. Uh, you know when you show belief in your student and even in your uh, child if parents are watching this it actually motivates them uh, like nothing else uh, when when you show them something that is possible when you uh, trust in their capability and you convey that while also you know maintaining the other side of the coin that you know they should not get immensely uh, overconfident and they should keep on track they should not you know skip classes etc i think that fine balance is important but uh, that's a great uh, takeaway message to us and uh, today for the first time maybe for parents and uh, uh, teachers watching this uh, so thank you so much suhas i think that wonderfully wraps up and all I have one more thing to say to all the sh- sure, all the sure. viewers all yours yeah uh, i mean most teachers while you're preparing for je they say that when you get to iit all the hard work will be done your life is set and all just don't believe that even after coming to iit you have to study Oh yeah, I can definitely vouch for that. There is a lot of studying that happens in IIT J, but it's a different kind of study. It's not something it's a different that... kind of study, but it's a study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will not stress you out as much as maybe your IIT J is stressing you out. Uh, and there are a lot of good things as well in college that uh, help you keep moving. Uh, I mean, you definitely don't have to put in those twelve hours of study that you were doing in IIT J or anything of that sort in uh, in college. And so, as I mean, you're in your first semester. Come on, you'll also understand a little bit. Uh, in the upcoming semesters, you're taking things yeah. maybe a little too seriously. I'm not demotivating you, of course. You uh, studies are important, and uh, college academics is uh, of prime importance. But you'll, you'll, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you in two, three semesters. Yeah, and I, I, I got it. Yeah. Cool, cool, perfect. Uh, great, Suhas. I think uh, we will meet up in person for sure. I'm coming to IIT Bombay uh, very soon. But thank you so much for taking out time today uh, after your classes and uh, by missing the tech orientation at IIT Bombay. Uh, they'll hate me for this. Uh, but uh, great chatting with you, Suhas. Uh, thank you so much uh, for giving all these insights. And I'm sure this will motivate people who are maybe you know. Uh, in a situation that you were in at one point of time and even if not there are a lot of takeaways from this podcast that people can benefit from thank you so much sohas thank you okay Bye. then see you see you guys thank you so much guys for watching this uh, stay safe uh, stay subscribed we'll be back with another episode very very soon uh, hopefully as uh, exciting and as informative as we had with sohas today uh, make sure you hit that like button for sohas and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much sohas once again uh, that's the end of the podcast bye